Another question about electability. Do you have any, sir? There's always the question as to whether or not you are, in fact, viable. Your differences with the Republicans on the, uh, the, with the rest of the Republicans on this stage has raised questions about whether or not you can actually win the general, the Republican nomination, sir. Well, we've only had two little primaries so far, so it's pretty premature to decide which one is going to be the Dick candidate. But, you know, when, when you think about it, if you measured everything I've ever said, every t vote I've ever taken, against the Constitution, you know, I'm a strict constitutionalist. Are you suggesting the Republicans should write me off because I'm a strict constitutionalist? I'm the most conservative member here. I have voted, you know, against more spending and wasting government than anybody else. So you're suggesting that I'm not electable and the Republicans don't want me because I'm a strict fiscal conservative? Because I believe in civil liberties? Why should we not be, be defending civil liberties? And why should we not be de talking about foreign policy that used to be the part of the Republican Party? Mr. Republican Robert Taft didn't even want us to be in NATO. And you're saying now that we have to continue to borrow money from China to finance this empire that we can't afford? I, let me see if I get this right. We, we need to borrow $10 billion from China, and then we give it to Musharraf, who's a military dictator who overthrew an elected government, and then we go to war, we lose all these lives promoting democracy in Iraq. I mean, what's going on here? And you're saying, and you're saying that this isn't appealing to Republicans? Where did, where did this come about? I think the re, this is a Republican message. I defend the platform. It used to say we got rid of the Department of Education. It doesn't say that. Now, we as Republicans went and doubled the size of the Department of Education. So where, where have we gone? I think we've lost our way. Is then the insinuation that I am less Republican because of that? Congressman, thank you very much. We have to take one more break. We'll be right back with one of the most contentious issues of the day. Stay tuned.